Okay, hey guys. Um, here I've got a espresso machine that I found on the side of the road for free. Um, basically, I estimate it to be about a thousand watts, maybe even a bit more um, heater element inside of it. I've modified the thermostat here um, to activate um, at a higher temperature so I can get that reservoir really really hot for the fog machine, uh, for the fog juice, sorry. Um, and down here I have a nozzle that's coming out of here, I don't know if you can see it, but that attached to a little mechanism that you put inside of a milk jug to froth it up, and that's what I'm using to make um, the fog. So basically what it does is there's a little um, pot of water here, that sits on, on top of a sensor. I don't know if you can really see it down there. It's just there. Um, and basically the tubes suck it into this pump. The pump then pumps it into this reservoir here. Gets really hot. Comes out of this pipe here. Down here. And comes out as um, steam. Now I'm going to be replacing that water there with um, fog juice. But I don't have any on hand at the moment. Um, so these lights indicate uh, water low, uh, water fine, like water is good. Um, this is the switch for the for the steam, and this is the switch for just hot water coming out of um, this section, which I don't have the clip to. Um, anyway, and there's your on and off switch. As you can see, it's all pretty small and compact. You can probably fit this all in, like that's the size of my hand next to it. You can all fit that inside of an enclosure and um, and set it up for uh, as a smoke machine. Sorry. Um, so now I'm going to run a 60 milliwatt um, violet laser. So you can't see the beam or anything like that. And we have the Arctic here, which is running about 600 milliwatts. Okay, so I'll just do it before and after. Oops. Okay, so on camera you can't actually see the beam. You can kind of see it in, in person. But um, yeah, so now I'm going to turn this off. And I will turn the lights off. Oh, actually, I'll try with the lights on first. Um, so now I'll just switch on the steam. And as you can see, it's quite quite a lot. That's a 60 milliwatt pen. And of course, once this is actual fog juice, it's going to do a lot better. Um, this is the Arctic. 600 milliwatts. I'm not pointing it into the steam, so it's fine for the laser. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, the steam propagates throughout the whole garage pretty well. Like that's all the way down there, and it's not even pointing that way. Um, so yeah, and then. It'll automatically turn off once um, the reservoir hits a certain temperature and then suck in more water into the reservoir. And this is all automatic, I don't have to touch it or anything. So as you can see, it's sucking water in. Um, temper uh, the water light's fine. So now it's heating up the, heating up the element. I uh, just turned the light off. It's still day outside, but dark in my garage. Um, so now I'll turn this back on. And that's the 60 milliwatt laser. You can see the beam all the way down to the back. That's on the roof. So it's filled up the garage pretty well with this steam. And that's only 60 milliwatts in two short bursts. Um, obviously I need a lot less um, once I've uh, got the actual fog juice for it 
But like that's that's pretty good by my standards. Good um beam for the four oh five. So yeah. It does quite well. 